Hi everybody, here I have Lenovo ThinkPad T490 and in this video I'll demonstrate you how to replace the main board. Step number one is to disable the built-in battery. For this purpose, turn on the laptop, immediately press enter and from the boot menu select F1 to enter the UFI setup. From there, from the left menu select config and after that scroll down to disable built-in battery. After you confirm, the laptop will immediately shut down. The BIOS setup utility on ThinkPad T14 may look like this with a graphical user interface or with text user interface. This is a matter of configuration, but it is the same procedure to disable the building battery. After disabling the built-in battery, I highly recommend you to start by removing the keyboard, which is connected to the main board. Start by carefully and gently removing the left and the right plastic keys on the trackpad. Using a Phillips screwdriver, loosen the two captive screws that hold the keyboard to the main chassis of the laptop. After that, using an appropriate plastic tool, for example a plastic card, gently push up the keyboard and remove all the plastic uh, clips that hold it. The final step for removing the keyboard is to disconnect the two cables that connect the back of the keyboard to the main board of the computer. The third step is to remove the back cover of the laptop, this way we can access the main board and the battery. There are six captive screws that has to be unscrewed with a Phillips screwdriver and after that using a plastic card all the plastic clips have to be released so that the cover can be removed. Step number four is to remove the battery. Gently push out the cable that connects the battery to the main board of the laptop. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the four M2 screws that hold the battery to the chassis of the laptop. After that, carefully lift the battery up and completely remove it from the laptop. There are many different cables that connect peripheral devices to the main board of the laptop. So step number five is to disconnect all of these cables. As you can see in the video, I decided to start with the cables that are on the bottom of the main board. I have access to these cables after I removed the battery. Thanks to the magic of video editing, I've speed up this part of the video. However, you have to do this very gently and carefully and to make sure that you will not damage the cables while you are disconnecting them from the main board. After that, I disconnected the cables that are on the top of the uh, main board. These are primarily the cables for the Ethernet connector, the Wi-Fi and uh, the display. Beware that the two of the cables that are um, coming out of the LCD display have handles that you have to carefully lift up before pulling out the cables. These cables actually connect the display and the webcam. On the right side of the laptop there is a metal plate. Use a Phillips screwdriver to unscrew all screws and after that carefully remove this metal plate. That's not all, there are three screws more. One is on the left side near the Ethernet port, one is relatively in the middle of the laptop and one is on the right side. You can see in the video how I'm removing them. Step number six is to remove the fan and the heatsink for the CPU. There are five screws in total, one between the fan and the heatsink and four around the heatsink. Once you remove the screws, gently lift up the fan and the heatsink, there are one piece, Please keep in mind that there is a thermal paste between the heatsink and the CPU. If you have paid close attention to the video so far, you have noticed that there is a mechanical damage to the screw that holds uh, the SSD drive. The screw is missing because the nut on the main board is broken so that the screw cannot fit in there. Uh, this can be uh, repaired by soldering a new nut. However, the fastest solution is to replace the main board if you have a spare board. And this is exactly what I'm going to do because I have another uh, Lenovo ThinkPad T490 and I'm going to use its a main board and put it in this computer. So here is the new board. Well, actually it's not new, obviously. It's uh, new for this uh, laptop, but in general it is the same uh, main board for uh, ThinkPad T490 that features 
i5 8th generation Intel CPU. Also, the RAM memory is integrated in this board. Of course, as you can guess, the assembly process is pretty much the same as this assembly. However, it goes in reverse order. So first I have to fit the main board in the right place to the main chassis of the laptop, add some screws to hold it tight there. After that, I have to connect all cables to the appropriate connectors. I spent 9 minutes doing this part, however, uh, thanks to the magic of video editing, I'll fast forward everything and we're watching it with speed increased by 8 times. Obviously all connectors are important, but in my opinion the most important part is to add the heatsink and the fan for the CPU. If you have a spare thermal paste, now is the right time to put it on the CPU. Unfortunately, I didn't have at the time when I recorded this video, so I'll skip this part. I also plug the SSD drive in its place and the next step is to attach the keyboard. I rotated the ThinkPad and carefully added uh, the keyboard. Again, I fast forward everything 8 times. Uh, when you're doing this, do it carefully, take your time. After successfully attaching the keyboard, I had two final steps on the back of the laptop, uh, which include adding a battery with the M2 screws and adding the back cover of the laptop, which has captive screws. I'm done with this repair, but in order to verify that it is actually successful, I have to boot and test this ThinkPad T490. The first thing that I have to do is to attach a USB-C power supply to the uh, power USB-C connector. This way, I'll enable the temporary disabled built-in battery of the laptop. On the first boot after the repair, I'll see this error message about the date and the time. And although it looks frightening, it's actually totally expected because during the disassembly process, I disconnected the real-time clock. So the main board does not store the data and I have to enter it again from the BIOS UFI menu. After that, I've interrupted the normal startup by pressing enter and from the startup interrupt menu, I hit F10 to enter the diagnosis hardware. This is a built-in application available in the firmware for ThinkPad, a cool feature, a key feature in my opinion, because this way you can diagnose the hardware without entering the operating system. This is a feature that makes the difference between ThinkPads and other laptops on the market. The first test that I ran was about the CPU fan. In my opinion, this is critical because if it's not working properly, this could quickly damage the CPU irreversibly. After that, I ran a few other tests. Everything is okay. The computer is fine. It works as expected. The repair is successful, so I can boot to the normal operating system. Let's summarize what I did in this video. I disabled the built-in battery, I removed the keyboard, I removed the battery, disconnected all connectors and swapped the main board. Finally, I diagnosed the hardware to make sure that everything works as expected. That's it. I have successfully swapped the main board of this Lenovo ThinkPad T490. The repair is successful. I ran some tests. Everything looked good. Um, in near future, I plan to make a very similar video about replacing the motherboard of Lenovo ThinkPad T14. This is the next generation following this computer. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Hit the like button if this video was useful and stay tuned for new videos. Hope to see you soon.